Some of you are still living by the eight glasses of water a day rule, like it's sacred tech. The rule came from 1945, the same era that thought margarine was health food and smoking cured stress. The guideline literally said 2.5 liters, including food. Not carry around a half gallon emotional support tumbler with charms, stickers, and some friendship bracelet hanging off the handle. Yet, here we are, everyone drowning themselves still dehydrated. Nope, you didn't evolve into a desert lizard. Modern life just attacks hydration. SSRIs, electrolytes, gone. ADHD meds, gone. Antihistamines, gone. GLP-1s, absolutely gone. Stress, you're dumping sodium like it's tax season. Indoor AC and heating, basically turning your body into beef jerky. Processed foods, don't even get me started. Potassium is a rumor and magnesium is a myth. Then you add caffeine, alcohol, THC, saunas, HIIT training, cold plunges, and creatine, which creatine's awesome, but seriously, you are speed running dehydration on a veteran difficulty. So no, water alone isn't fixing anything. Your fatigue, headaches, dizziness, brain fog that you contribute to low water intake, not a water problem. That's a mineral deficit. Everyone today is deficient unless you're supplementing. That's why stuff like LMNT and morning routine aren't trends. They're survival tools for the modern electrolyte apocalypse. So you can keep hauling around that stupid decorated half gallon tumbler like it's a personality, or you can fix the actual problem, replace sodium, potassium, magnesium daily. Hydration isn't volume, it's chemistry. Get the minerals right and your water finally matters and means something.